Bismillah ar rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. So, we've discussed the voltage divider biasing in the previous video. I hope you've got the point. Okay, the Thevenin equivalent circuit, the Thevenin resistance, Thevenin voltage, right, and the formulas. Okay, yes, sir. Today, we see what? We see some examples. Examples on the voltage divider biasing. The so, we have what? We have the book example that is example 4.8. Example 4.8 states what, please? So determine the bias, DC bias voltage VCE and the current IC for the voltage divider configuration. VCE is unknown. IC is unknown. Yes, of course, and these are the, the coordinates of the operating point. So what is given is VCC is 22 volts given. VCC is 22 volts. R1 is 39 kilo ohms, R2 is 3.9 kilo ohms, R1, R2, RC is 10 kilo ohms, RC is 10 kilo ohms, and then you have what? Uh, RE is 1.5 kilo ohms, RE is 1.5 kilo, beta is beta is 100, beta is 100. And also the value of the capacitances are given. C1, C2, C1 is equal to C2 is 10 microfarad and C3 is 50 microfarads. So have a look. We don't have anything to do with this. We don't have uh, anything to do with this. This one is C1. This one is C2. And C3 is in parallel with this RE. So this is the DC analysis, we'll study about the capacitors in the AC analysis, right? So forget about this, in the DC analysis, all these would be open circuited, right? Yes, let's get to our analysis. What is unknown? VCE is unknown, IC is unknown. So first you can find out what? You can find out IB. So IB could be found out by following the value of V Thevenin and R Thevenin, and V Thevenin could be found out in this way. So have a look, solution, V Thevenin. This would come out to be VCC, which is 22 into R2. R2 is what? It's a R2, R2, R2 is 3.9 kilo. 3.9 kilo ohms divided by R1 plus R2. So 39 kilo plus 3.9 kilo. V7 and comes out to be what? I will just check it from here. V Tevin and comes out to be 2 volts. 2 volts. R Tevin and. R Tevin and is a parallel combination of the 2. R1 into R2, 39 kilo into 3.9 kilo divided by 39 kilo plus 3.9 kilo. R Tevin and comes out to be 3.5 ohms. 3.5 ohms. 3.5 ohms, right? Yes. Now what do you have? IB. So IB, you have got the formula. Just a stepwise, the same stepwise. KVL, KCL. You know it, that is it. IB comes out to be what? V7 and minus VBE. 2 minus 0 0.7, let's say for a silicon transistor. R7 is 3.5 plus beta plus 1. 101 times what? RE. RE is what? 1.5 kilo. IB, do the calculations, IB comes out to be 8.3 microamperes, have a look at smaller value, 8.38 microamperes. Next, IC would be beta times IB, IC would be beta times 100 times IB, 8.3 into 10 power minus 6, IC comes out to be what, this is the coordinate of the uh, this so 0.84 milliampere 0.84 milliamperes 0.84 milliamperes right yes do you want me to do it on the calculator no you're not on that level that i would take a calculator in my hand and i will say this multiply this is equal to this no right you just need to understand this thing i don't even need to do this right but anyways these are the book examples, so we'll do it. So I see, you've got the value of IC. Now you can find out the value of uh, uh, VCE again, VCE. 
VCE is what? It's VCC, it's 22 minus IC is 0 0.84 milli into RC plus RE. RC is 10 kilo plus RE is 1.5 kilo. VCE comes out to be 12.34 volts. 12.34 volts. Is that fine? You can find out the value of the stability factor as well. You can find out the value of the stability factor. R Thevenin 3.5 kilo plus Re uh, 1.5 kilo divided by Re is what? 1.5 kilo. So 3.5, 5 divided by 1.5, 5 divided by 1.5, whatever it is, whatever it is. So this is a smaller value. Have a look. I told you the more it is less to z, the more it is closer to zero, the more stable is your system. The less it is, the less it has the chances to be uh, deviated due to the external conditions, right? So which means what? That this is quite a best value. This is very very close to zero. Five divided by one point five is what? It's 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 three point something, right? Or maybe four something, right? Very less value as compared to one plus beta. Beta is 100 and 1. For instance, this is 4. This value is 3 or 4. 4, let's say. If this is 4 and for, for the fixed bias configuration, we set a beta plus 1, that would be 101. So 4 is nothing in, in case of 101. Right? Yes. So this is for the first example. Let's say I do another example. I say I do another example. I have it written over here. The given thing is... Uh, uh, IC, VE, VCC, IC, VE, VCC, VCE, VB and R1. These things are unknown and the given is what? The given is IB is 20 micro amperes. RC is 2.7 kilo, RE is 1.2 kilo ohms, VC is 10.6 volts, beta is 100, beta is 100 and then what do you have? The final value R2 is 6.8 kilo ohm, R2 is 6.8 kilo ohm. So this is my little cousin, you know, he's my very best friend and he's came after me. Anyways, he's gone. So, so these are the given and these are the requirements. I see. So first you can find out what? You can go in this stepwise. You can go in this stepwise. VCC is unknown. Have a look. VCC is unknown. R, R1 is unknown. So what would be the first step? You can find out uh, through IB. So IB is given. So you can find out IC. So this would be beta. Beta is also given. Beta is 100. And this is also given 20 into 10 to the power negative 6. What is the value? I'll just take this with me. So we'll have it directly. Uh, IC is 2 milliamperes, 2 milliamperes. So if you draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit, what do you have then? You can find out uh, a VCC from where? You can find out VCC such that you are given the potential at this point at VC. You are given the potential at VC and that is 10.6. So if this is 10.6, you can just apply KVL over here. So you can say that VCC minus ICRC, this is equal to 10.6. So you've got RC, you've got IC, you can find out VCC. VCC would be what? 10.6 plus IC is 2 milli into RC and RC is what? It's 2.7 kilo. So VCC comes out to be, just let me write over here, 16 volts. You, 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 you do check the calculations, okay. So you've got VCC, you've got IC. Now you can, what you can do? You can find out VE. VE is what? VE is the voltage across the emitter, right? VE is, VE is IE times RE. So you have the value of RE and you know that IE is what? IB plus IC. You have IB, you have IC, you have RE. Put the values. Put the values. 
I uh, wait. The values would be what VE would be 2.4 volts. 2.4 volts. So VE is also done. Now if you have a VE, you have a VC. So VCE is what? VCE is VC minus VE. VC is 16 minus 2.4. What is this? 16 minus 2. Uh, no, no, 10.6. So. No, wait. VC. Yes, that VC is not this. VC is not 16. VC we have somewhere. Yes, VC is given. VC is given. That is 10.6. So 10.6 minus 2.4 comes out to be 8.17 volts. So VCE is done. VB you can find out from VBE. So VBE is VB minus a VE. VB would be what? VBE is 0.7 plus VE is what? It's 2.4. This comes out to be 4.1. No, 3.12 volts. 3.12 volts. VBE is also done. Where is VBE? No, VB. VB is also done. Now R1. Finally R1. So you saw the base current. Now we don't have R2. We don't have uh, we don't have uh, this thing. R3 and we don't have R3 and right. So the thing is we could do an approximation over here. And the approximation would be such that as the IB current is very small. IB current is very very small. So what can you do is you can say that the voltage drop across R3 is also very small. Base current is very small, so drop across our thevenin is also very small. Such that, such that this voltage thevenin is approximately equal to VB, 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 okay. The point over here is VB. So this is connected to VB uh, through this uh, R thevenin. So if this IB is very small, you could say that the voltage across R thevenin is also very small. Such that, such that the base voltage is approximately equal to the thevenin voltage. So you put over here, you've got your base, you've got R1, you, you have R2, right? You have R2, so you put the values. R thevenin is what? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Over here, over here. Put it over here. So, you, if you do it, R1 plus R2, R1 plus R2 is equal to VCC, R2 divided by V thevenin, and over whole minus R2. R1 is unknown, right? Yes. So, so you can just put the values. VCC is 22. R2 is what? R2 is 6.8 kilo divided by V thevenin and V thevenin we have approximated to V base and we, so V base is what? It's 3.12 and then you have minus 6.8 kilo. So this comes out that R2 comes out to be what? R, R1 comes out to be 28 kilo ohms. R1 comes out to be 28 kilo ohm. So this we did an approximation. Okay, this we did an approximation. So do you want me to do another example? How much time is it? We've got 13 minutes on this. So if you if you want to take one as an as a homework, if you want to take a, one as a homework, so let's say I give you one as a homework. Please write down the question. Please write down the question, okay? So where should I write it? I will write it over here. What is it? Determine the levels of ICQ and VCQ for the voltage divider configuration. And what is given? VCC is 18 volts. VCC is 18 volts. R1 is 82 kilo ohms. R2 is 22 kilo ohms. RC is 5.6 kilo ohms. RE is 1.2 kilo ohms. Beta is 50. Beta is 50. The value of the capacitance is also given, but we don't require that. The operating point is unknown. Q point is unknown. That is what you have your VCEQ and ICQ. This point is unknown and this question is your homework. So find out these values, 
the formulas are all written over here and let me know in the comment section okay yes the capacitors are short circuited okay the input is applied over here ac input and the ac output is taken from here bypass capacitor and this coupling capacitor so you don't have anything to do with this just let me know in the comment section the answer to this you need to let me know in the comment section and that is it for me in the voltage by voltage divider biasing all right yes so this is the the best suitable okay the most widely used the most widely used right so i finished this video over here see you in the next video maybe with another biasing technique till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye